Hello, welcome to my Wednesday. It's still the heat wave here in South Wales at the moment. I've been in all day so far. What time is it? Half past 11. I'm just about to nip out actually. I want to nip to a local hairdresser's and try and book me and my daughter both in for a trim because this hair needs cutting and I think it would be nice for her to get hers done before she goes off to uni so she feels all fresh and new person-y, you know, so that's first on the list. Otherwise, it's mostly a kind of routine-ish sort of day at home. I've got various bits and bobs that I need to crack on with and my normal things as well. So, alright, I'm going to go and try and make this hair appointment first. Well, that was a bit of an anti-climax. I'm back. I've been to the barbers slash hairdressers and it's closed on Wednesdays. So I'll have to try again tomorrow. In other news, a package came yesterday for us from Amazon. It has university bits in it. Surprise, surprise. And a couple of things for me as well. Well, one thing for the household, one thing for me personally. A little indulgence. Do you know what? This was just left on our doorstep for hours and hours. We were out in Castellcourt yesterday and I noticed there was an email notification from Amazon saying my package had been delivered and it was just placed on the doorstep in full view of everybody and it had been there for hours. I cannot believe it was not stolen so I might have to write them a little moaning uh, complaint and say look come on don't just leave it in the street please. It's like external hard drives and things in here. It's not cheap. Right, I'm going to show you what's in here anyway. Ta -da! Let's have a look see what's inside, shall we? Ooh, number one thing, bath plug for my kitchen sink. Number two thing, flash drives. Now, I already bought myself some of these and Izzy just wasn't that interested in choosing so I just went ahead and chose on her behalf. They're all right, I've had them before, they're very cheap. I'll link all these things in the description. They do the job, you know, they're just a flash drive. Ooh, my indulgence, this was for me. I saw them in the works and I just, I kept thinking about how much smaller and more compact they would be in my pencil case that I carry around with me all the time. I can put the chunky ones back in the tin where I actually want them to be, because I'm always getting them out of my pencil case to use at home. So it'd just be nice to have two sets, so yay for that. There's two more things. What could the next thing be? The portable hard drive for Isabel. I have no idea if it's any good. I mean, it had all right number of stars and all that, so I just went for it. For her backing up at uni, basically. Right, one more thing. I can't even remember what this is. I like it when you forget and then you go, Oh, yeah, I remember. What could this be? Oh, I know what it is. Yeah, present for my daughter, a gift. Hopefully, that will last her, her life. Although, knowing uni, things will get lost. Oh, anyway. Pegs. They're bigger than mine. I've only got little ones. She's got these ones now. They are made of one piece of metal, these pegs. You can use them for, you know, your cereal packets or whatever, not just your cloves. So that's for her. And they come with this little drawstring bag. So I'm going to pop those in there and gift them to her. Hopefully they last her way, way into her adulthood. Oh, oh, there are a variety of sizes. Look, I didn't realise that. They're different sizes, but that's actually quite useful, I think. Big and small. I think they're about £6 or maybe £6 something, but I'll link them in the description in case you're interested in checking those out. I love mine. I've had them ages now. A viewer recommended them, actually. And so thank you for that if you're still watching. <laughs> Does the plug fit? I'm hoping it... It looks a bit small. I measured it. I measured it and it was definitely four centimetres across. It doesn't look like it's going to fit. That's too... Oh, no. That's too... Oh! I measured it. That's smaller. This is supposed to be four centimetres. Oh, that's so annoying. I hate that. Okay. I'm feeling somewhat vindicated. How is that four centimetres? That bit there is four. It's smaller than it said. I will check. Oh, my thingy. I'm trying to see if there's any longer way it could possibly be. That's, no, that's not four centimetres across. It said 40 millimetres. I'm going to check. I've got the order up. For a start, it says parcel was handed to resident. No, it was not. Right, let's have a look what it says. Ah, uh, 38.5 millimetres to 40 millimetres. So it is my fault. I wonder if I can send it back. I can try. I think I might have leverage after that naughty just abandoning it on the doorstep thing. We'll see. I mean, it was only a couple of quid, but still, I just want a working plug. Not sure what that is on the packaging that it came with either. Looks like blood to me. 
But uh, who knows? Hopefully a bit of nice yummy hot chocolate. Mm. Anyway, speaking of drinks, I'm going to make myself one now and I'm going to put on my to-do list for later to email Amazon and try and get that plug changed. I've just popped it on the draining board to dry for now because it's a bit drippy now because it's been in the sink. Right, I shall speak to you when I've finished my flute practice. Sorry, that look was, why is my light not on? It's because I didn't switch it on. That one's all right though. I've done an hour. I'm going to show you the temperature. 27.5 degrees. I find that extremely comfortable. I'm very happy. Now, uh, somebody was saying the other day in the comments, I need to have hygrometers in every room. Well, I have actually. <laughs> it's 56 uh, humidity in here at the moment. It's always much higher in the cellar where it's cold. It's just doesn't get above 18 degrees unless the heating's actually on you see so I go down there and I'm thinking this is a real waste of lovely warm weather because I'm going in a freezing cold room with no natural light and I'm cold <laughs> um, but anyway yeah I have a dehumidifier down there which is on almost every day to be honest uh, yeah I've got a dehumidifier in the bedroom but I rarely use it because it's not that damp so I don't often to be honest as long as I open the windows every day which I do religiously every day it just it's, it's okay to be honest I'm cooking nuggety things for my lunch because they do need eating and I'll have them with a buttered roll probably not all of them but I'll snack on some later um yeah that's it really oh and some cut up things from yesterday that didn't get eaten in the picnic uh I might have overpacked for the picnic oops peppers cut up and grapes and my hands are just not big enough oh no there I've got them yay there's grapes in there believe it or not I've just been having a very quick litter pick in my little bit of concrete yard here it needs a bit of a sweep really my anti-cat poo fence is a work to treat there's not a spot of it in there it's absolutely brilliant but it's actually filled up with weeds <laughs> but um I'm not sure if they're actually wildflowers what are these look at these beautiful things I didn't want to uh, destroy them because I did actually plant wild flower seeds ages ago but they didn't germinate really because we had a very dry spell and I was away gigging and I didn't get to water it so I need to decide what to keep and what to get rid of really and sort this out at some point but it's not on my urgent list. I've also been sorting out my compost bin as well off camera the front had come off it and it spilled out and uh, yeah it needed to sort out so I've been troweling it all back in and putting the thing on but it's composted quite well apart from the eggshells which I didn't realise you had to crumble up before putting in but I know now anyway I've put a mozzarella slice on there and some super hot sauce and I'm going to have it with some of those leftovers from our picnic yesterday which have been in the fridge and are chilled and very delightful mm. It's half past three now. I am coming over all sleepy actually. I think I'm going to have a little 20 minute nap. I wasn't going to and then I thought Oh yeah, I'm trying to be more restful and take things a bit more slowly. I can do it. My schedule is not that hectic now. I can take a 20 minute nap. I actually managed it the other day. I actually fell asleep and found it really good because normally it takes me longer than 20 minutes to go to sleep, but I think I might be able to do it, actually. I'm getting all lively now though because I've got the camera on and <laughs> I'm waking myself up. I got in touch with Amazon. I phoned and spoke to a lady assistant. So I'm returning the plug, no problem there, except my printer's not printing the label, but apart from that, there's no problem. Theoretically, I have one to print out. And uh, she took note of the, um, the doorstep drop and run incident and so she'll ensure that it doesn't happen again right i think that's everything i have to report really i've just been editing because uh boyfriend's coming over later he wants to go for a walk right he's currently saying he's gonna be at 6 30 it's so hard to schedule with my boyfriend because he, you know if you've watched this channel for a while <laughs> the ever-changing schedule so a theory, in theory he's coming at 6 30 and we're going for a walk and then we're coming back and then I'm cooking dinner problem is when these schedules drag on and on and on and on we get hungrier and hungrier and we get like foggy headed and low blood sugary this is the problem so it's dif it's difficult with food when things drag on hour after hour anyway this is the current plan so I'm gonna have a sleep I'm gonna get up and then I'm gonna go to Lidl's with my trolley and then come back then I've got some rehearsing to do in the sala and then after that my boyfriend will be here theoretically. Well, can you believe I actually managed to fall asleep pretty quickly? So I've had a little nap. I've managed to print out my label for my Amazon return and I'm off to the post office. Let's see if that's still open. And then Lidl to do a bit of shopping. Got to Lidl's. I'm still feeling sleepy, you know. I don't think I'm properly awake yet. I like the Lidl's trolley because they've got a fold out thing and it's very handy for my shopping trolley. Oh, it's air conditioned in here. It's really chilly, but uh, actually it's quite refreshing. I must admit, even I was getting a little bit hot. It's uh, 79 pence for the chestnut mushrooms, so of course, one of those is going in. Fun-sized cucumbers are done 69p. I'll get that to encourage my daughter to have some healthy snackage. Might succeed, you never know. The avocados are 79 pence for two. That's not bad, let's get some of those. I wanted bananas, plural, but I'm gonna get banana. 
because yeah it's a bit of a lack of them there now i haven't had any citrus fruit for ages because they keep being really horrible and it's put me off and they keep ending up getting wasted because nobody wants to eat them because they literally make your eyes water i'm going to give them another go 95 pence the baby corn is 89 let's get some of that I would like some green veg to go with dinner tonight, so I'm going to get some broccoli. And the green beans are down to 65. We've got some at home, but not enough for all three of us, so there we are. Oh my gosh, £1.45 for all those peppers. I'm going to get them because we have a couple left, but we get through them quickly and we ate a lot yesterday. I would like some loose baked potatoes. Oh yes, it's only because, oh I'll just get that one. I think I've got enough spuds for our dinner tonight, but I'm not 100% sure if we might be a bit short. So that's just perfect. Bit of insurance. I need some rice cakes. I didn't see them in the crackery bit. I want soy milk as well, principally. Oh, ice lollies have been doing a roaring trade in the heat wave. I do want some, but I'm not sure if they'll get all the way home without melting, honestly. So I think I might have to do without. Oh, look at that great big thing of gouda, look. All that there. 50 slices, one kilogram, 6.99. It's a bit of a big packet for me. I'm gonna grab some halloumi for £2.15 while I'm in here. Dan pack, 2.19. I reckon it's every bit as good as lure pack. And look at the price difference, look. More than double for the lure pack. So that's going in. Don't know where the soy milk is, I've lost it. I'm gonna have to go hunting. Milk for my mummy and daddy. Apparently I bought the wrong milk in Aldi the other day in Abercrombie. Somebody was telling me in the comments got long life or something well that's not long life that's 15th september there we go i don't buy it anymore really very much now because i normally have soya or oat milk or something so i i'm not that familiar with what brands look like i want some big bin bags i seem to have trouble in remembering which bin bags to get and i keep getting ones that don't quite fit my massive kitchen bin so i need to make a note about whether they fit or not and not throw the package in away 20 large 169 215 for 20 well let's try this and see I actually need swing bin liners with bathroom bin now. I'm completely out. There's 50 here. That's one pound nine pence. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Is that 20? Yes, it is. I saw 50 and got confused, but it was 50 litre. All right, where's this soy milk? Look how quiet it is in here today. I think it maybe people are staying in because of the intense heat. I should have a look on my app and tell you how much it is, how hot it is. I mean, we're still waiting for the app to load. I'm going to get some gnocchi ricotta and cheese for Izzy. £2.19. I think that'll be a nice... Yummy meal for the two of us. One day coming up soon. And I'm afraid I can't tell you the temperature because my app is not loading because I've got no signal in here. Oh, excellent. Ready to roll pastry. Ready rolled pastry. I always say that wrong. It's pound nineteen, and with that great glut of apples, this is a great thing to have in the fridge on standby. We've got those clothes areas in here. Quite a lot like the one I used. Mine's from Ikea actually, but they've got them in a little at the moment for $17.99. I love mine, I've had it years. Well, look at that, walk right past it. 99p. I, you see, the reason I'm going for this is I tried it in coffee and it didn't curdle. Um, I haven't tried it in instant coffee. I tried it in real coffee and it didn't curdle. Got my trolley, you see, because I wanted to get a few. That probably is the limit, really. It's going to be a bit heavy. The only thing I want now is corn cakes, ideally, but I think I'll have to settle for rice cakes, so I don't think they'll have them. I've got ice lollies on the list, but I think it's too hot. It's quite a long walk back. I think they'll melt. Oh, I'm not getting one, but look, these little cappuccino thingies are 65p in here. That's a bit cheaper than, like, Tesco's and stuff when you're out and about. Can't get over how quiet it is in here. I love it. Uh-oh, this Imo is reversing. Beep, boop. I had an impulse moment. I saw pumpkin seeds and I remembered how delicious they are. I haven't had them for ages. Where do I see them? Come back to me. I just like, they caught my eye. <laughs> I can't see them now. Oh, they were definitely there. It wasn't a hallucination. They're here. I'm not sure how much they are. That's pack and nuts for £3.19. So seed mix 139. Would it be 139? Oh, I might just see. I'm thinking about putting them in my yogurt in the morning because I love yogurt and honey and frozen blueberries. And I was thinking I might start introducing some nuts. I'm nervous about having nuts in the house because Vizzy's nut allergy. She's all right with almonds. Oh, the look of the Brazil nuts. See, it's making my mouth water, but I'm even going to be worried about getting them when she's gone to uni because what if she comes back and there's a trace of them in the house? Oh, almonds it is. I mean, I like almonds, but it's nice to have a variety. How much are the almonds? They're 179. Right, let's go on my breakfast. Oh, I just walked past these lovely shiny aubergines and they are 85 pence. It's not for dinner tonight, but it's going in my fridge for later. Please be rice cakes. Please be rice cakes. I don't see rice cakes. 
Oh, 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 we haven't got any, I don't think. Right, I'm gonna pay and go home. I'm starting to feel a bit more awake now. Shopping, stimulation. It's 20 past five now, I've just got in and I had great plans to be working on these songs I've got to learn. I've got about 13 songs to learn. Time's just got away from me, unfortunately. That's what happens when you have naps, but I was really sleepy. I'll just have to um, find some time later in the week, won't I? I've decided what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna prep dinner. I'm gonna get the vegetables prepped and in the pan, ready for the hot water. I'm gonna get the tuna in foil, ready to go in the air fryer. And I'm gonna peel and cut up the potatoes, ready to go in the active fry. And that way, once we get in from our walk, all hot, sweaty, tired and starving, I just have to put everything on and it'll be about 20 minutes to wait for dinner. So that's gonna be my plan and I'll have to have a snack first, I think, before the walk. Well, it's five to six now. I've been listening to a Q&A video on YouTube by Ruby Granger, very interesting. She's a very articulate young lady and very interesting. Anyway, look, I've prepped my broccoli. There's also green beans and a few rogue sprouts in there that were left over from the other day. So they've all just gone in the same pan because I'm a lazy bones. In here, you've guessed it, some chipped potatoes that I have chipped lovingly with my own fair hands. And over here, packaged up in the foil, we've got the fish prepped and ready to go in the air fryer. I'm gonna have a bit of a snack now. I'm gonna eat whatever's left of the apple pie, ready to make a fresh apple pie, probably not today. And then I'm gonna edit until my boyfriend arrives. That's my plan. But I want to have some camera free time with him this evening and a family meal together with Izzy as well. So thank you so much for watching this video. Could you just give it a like if you happen to like it. Subscribe down below to watch more videos from me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.